Hi, this is Camille Jasmine with today's Oceans of Opportunity. And today is part three in our series for first time home buyers. And today's topic may be a little bit dry, but very informative. And it's in regards to knowing your mortgage options. So we're gonna cover three different areas. And the first one is down payment. Now you may have commonly heard that you have to put 20% down. And traditionally that's what a lot of people do. Obviously, uh, that means you can have less of a monthly payment the more money you put down in advance. And secondly, it avoids private mortgage insurance, which does protect the lender, and they require it when there's less than that amount down. And that will vary depending on your uh, loan amount. For example, it's going to be somewhere around $100 for a $250,000 purchase, and that's $100 per month. So you can see where the trade-off is. The banks, you either pay them now with the, the higher down payment or pay them later in a higher monthly payment. So uh, you can do incrementally down uh, in terms of how much you're going to put down. Some people put a random number of, say, 13% because that's the amount they may have saved. Now, the government has FHA programs, which you can put as little as 3.5% down. So that's actually a very common loan that's being used today and they will charge the private mortgage insurance for that as well. The second item we have to look at is interest rates. Obviously, they fluctuate up and down throughout the day. We typically see kind of a certain range within a period of uh, 30 days or so. We can sometimes have some economic factors that will make things spike or make them drop for a short period of time. We've been hovering in the uh, mid fours, plus or minus, for quite a while right now. And uh, we also find that at certain loan limits, you'll find like, at any given time, there's going to be incremental increases in the interest rate for the um, conventional conforming rate, which is 417.5, and then the next uh, jumbo conforming, which is currently 729.5, but they're going to be reducing that to 625, the $625,000 actually just next week. So you pretty much would have to be about closing escrow to, to uh, have that honored. So basically that means next time you want to get a, a higher uh, loan rate, or excuse me, uh, yeah, loan amount, the interest rate may be a little bit higher at that higher amount. And then of course we get off into the jumbo ranges and so those interest rates will be a little bit higher than those conventional rates. The last item, oops, excuse me, interest rates, one more thing, is we also have to talk about there's an adjustable interest rate. And they typically are over a shorter time period, maybe five, seven, or ten years. And they'll often start with a teaser rate, so be careful about that. Sometimes they're artificially low, and they start incrementing up. They can actually increase about every six months, and they do actually cap over a period of time. But you might start at a two, which sounds great, and end up at a five or six, which is higher than the market rates right now. So be careful about those. And then after those time periods, five, seven, ten years run out, then you have to roll it over to a new loan. The last item is going to be the term of the loan. Uh, traditionally, most loans are 30 years. Sometimes people want to pay them off early, so they might go 15 years, or they might want to lower their payments a little bit and they'll stretch it out to 40 years. Uh, statistically, people actually end up getting a new loan before they even reach that 15 year mark. So keep that in mind when you're picking your term of your limit. Uh, of your loan. So that's today's Oceans of Opportunity. Have a great day.